Well, we read John Dunn's Death, Be Not Proud, sonnet in the previous class. Uh, we also uh, learned something about the poet, his uh, style and his themes. In this today's session, let us read and understand uh, his sonnet line by line. Now first, uh, let's uh, understand what is uh, the sonnet is about. In this sonnet, John Dunn argues that even though many have considered death to be powerful and uh, invincible, it is not so. John Dunn argues in this poem that death is not very powerful and awful. He says, the images of death are that of sleep which make us uh, feel happy. He further argues the, that death is not an independent uh, entity, but rather it is a slave. Death can even be experienced by using poppy, uh, that is a drug, and charm, magic. Death is nothing but a short sleep. After that we wake up eternally and death dies. So this is the gist of the poem. So death, life and religion, rebirth are the themes of this sonnet. Now read line number one and two in which he challenges the death, dares the death. Uh, in that sense, uh, death is personified in this uh, sonnet. Personification is to address uh, an idea or uh, a lifeless object as if it is a person. Jiva illa irtakanta vandu vastu vanna atwa vandu idea vanna obba vekti anna riti ile adanna matna adasthaga adanna nao personification anta yelthi. Illi death obba vekti anna anna riti ili John Dunn avaru adanna address maadthar. So, he is speaking to death. He dares death. Hege, death, be not proud. You don't be proud. No. Don't be proud thinking that uh, you are mighty, you know, all powerful and fearful. No, you are not so, he says. You are not all powerful. You are not uh, awful, scary. Bhayapadiswanta vekti Allah ni. All powerful Allah. Many people have uh, thought that you are very powerful, uh, ultimately powerful and uh, you scare people. But no, you are not so. He continues uh, to support his argument. You know, in line number 1 and 2, he makes an argument that death, you are not powerful. So, you should not feel proud. Hemme padbada. Nene powerful. Mathe janranna hedir sova. Ultimate idea nene anthele. Hemme padbada. Because you are not all powerful. You are not awful. So adhi yege. Nene powerful alla. Death anodhu powerful kuda alla. Scary. No bhaya padiswanta du alla. Yege. Anodhan. Next lines gadali. From line number 3 to 14. Prove Martar. Hege entered. So for those whom you think you does overthrow, die not poor death, nor yet can you kill me. He tells death, saying, No, you think you kill people, no, but it is illusion. You cannot kill people. Poor death. You know, I, I feel pity for you because. Neither you can kill others, nor you can kill me. That is because the life is eternal. Now here there is this reference to Christian belief of eternal life. Life is always eternal. Nirantar vadaddu, ananta vadaddu, life annodu, kone illaddu. Anna namke enna illi, avaru. Express Martha. So further he continues to attack on 
death and its pride he says you death what are your pictures death andre yena namma kanu munde barutte yava chitra namma kanu munde barutte andre he says from rest and sleep which but your pictures are much pleasure than from you much more must flow so ninna nodidre ninna chitra andre obba vyakti malagiruvanta athwa viramistirtakkanta rest maartta irtakkanta obba vyaktiya chitra nam kan munde barutte death anta helidre so inta pictures nodadaga namage en anusutte obba malagiruva vyaktina ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರೋ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಏನು ಅನಿಸುತ್ತೆ ನಮಗೆ ಖುಷಿ ಅನಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಸಂತೋಷ ಅನಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ನಿದ್ರೆ ಮತ್ತು ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ವಿರಾಮ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥವು ಸಂತೋಷ ನೀಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಒಂದು ಚಿತ್ರಗಳೇ ಹೊರತು ಭಯಪಡಿಸ್ತ ಭಯ ತರಿಸ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥವಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಇದೇ ಚಿತ್ರಗಳೇ ಸಾವಿನದ್ದು ಕೂಡ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹಿ ಸೈಸ್ you death your pictures make us more happy give us joy not fear therefore there is nothing to fear about you then he further continues to attack on death saying and soon as our best men with you do go rest of their bones and souls delivery you know it is uh, actually uh, the best people who uh, die sooner now that's what we say olle evaru best people evaglu baala bega ee jagatanna torithare ante adu yake anta explain maartare best people die sooner yes of course why jandan argues they die sooner because their body you know, needs rest and peace Now, once a person is dead their body is laid to rest and their bones are laid to rest and their soul is relieved from their body a one atmake dehadinda mukti sigutte allinda relief sigutte adakke so illi deha matu atma antakanta idea na illi john dunn avaru express madidare ಇದರ ನಂಬಿಕೆ ಓದುಗರಿಗೆ ಮತ್ತು ಅದನ್ನು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅನ್ನೋ ಅನ್ನೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೆತ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಡ್ರೆಸಿಂಗ್ ಡೆತ್ ಯು ಡೆತ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ಕಿಲ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸೋನ್ ನೋ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಕಿಲ್ ದೆಮ್ ರ್ಯಾದರ್ ದೆ ಆರ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಟು ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ದೆ ನೀಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋಲ್ ಈಸ್ delivered freed from their body that's all and uh, are you a king death no you are not a king you are not all powerful rather you are a slave to fate chance kings and desperate men yes you you don't have a separate existence where do you live how do you work he calls death a slave because it has no separate entity and no power to act on his own now death where does the death take place now when somebody's fate is over or somebody is fated to die in a particular place in a particular way yes death is a slave to fate ane barahakke ವಿಧಿಗೆ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಆಗಿರುವಂಥದ್ದು ಡೆತ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ತನ್ನದೇ ಆದ ಸ್ವಂತಿಕೆ ಪವರ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಡನ್ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಸಮ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಬ ಡೈ ಬೈ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಡೈ ಇನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟಲ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಡೆಸ್ಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಮೆನ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕಮಿಟ್ ಸೂಸೈಡ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಡೆತ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಲೇವ್ ಟು ಫೇಟ್ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ kings and desperate men who commit suicide and where else does this death live death lives in poison so try to understand the idea of death 
death is a slave to fate chance kings and so on it also lives not independently somewhere but rather it lives in poison it lives in war it lives in sickness an ill person therefore dun argues that death therefore you are not an independent powerful entity you are not powerful and you are also not awful one who creates fear ninga eradu quality illa you know janranna hedirstakkantaddu illa ninge all powerful astu shaktinu illa ninge ante so you death death can be experienced in different ways neene yak beku namge death save neene yak beku namge experience madodakke and poppy or charms can make us sleep as well death andre enu sleep so malgadike en beku namge neene bekagilla death neene bekagilla save neene bekagilla namge ninakintanu better aagi naavu yav reethi malagabodu we can sleep better by the use of poppy drug and even charms no magic spell something like that a magic spell in the no kill on the characters uh, days together maligi as if satt hogidare anno reethil maligiradanna navu ond eradu shakespeare na drama galalli nodti so when uh, death can be even experienced by the use of drug and magic spells neene yak beku save neene yak bek namge ninnanna navu ಈ ಡ್ರಗ್ಸ್ ಇಂದನೂ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಮ್ಯಾಜಿಕ್ ಸ್ಪೆಲ್ ಇಂದನೂ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ವೈ ಸ್ವೆಲ್ ಯು ದೆನ್ ಈಗಿರೋವಾಗ ಯಾಕೆ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆ ಪಡ್ತೀಯ ನಾನೇ ಆಲ್ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಮೈಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡ್ರೆಡ್ಫುಲ್ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಯಾಕೆ ನೀನು ಹೆಮ್ಮೆ ಪಡ್ತೀಯ ಅಂಥೇಳಿ ಆ ಸಾವನ್ನೇ ಹೆದರಿಸ್ತಾರೆ ಹೆದರಿಸ್ತಾರೆ ಹಿ ಡೇರ್ಸ್ ಡೆತ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ವೈ ದೆನ್ ಡು ಯು ಸ್ವೆಲ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಬೋಸ್ಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫುಲ್ ಸೊ ಡೆತ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡ್ರಗ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಜಿಕ್ ಸ್ಪೆಲ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡನ್ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಥ್ರೂ ದೀಸ್ points that he is trying to say death is not mighty and dreadful save neenu powerful kuda nu alla scary hedirisuvanta ond idea nu alla neenu this is how he is arguing so how does this <coughs> death end where is the end to this death dun says one short sleep past onde ond sanna nidde inda navu pass aagibitre we wake eternally antya ilde iro reethili navu immortal amara aagibidtivi onde ond saavanna experience maadi bandibitre john dunn helta idare navu avaga namma aatma namma jeevana yenagirutte ante illaddu immortal amara therefore these last two lines are uh, very meaningful he says one short sleep past we wake eternally one day one sanna nidde aitu mugita adanna now pass aagibitti datidvi andre namage allinda saave illa and death shall be no more death anod namige barode illa therefore death you shall die who will die once once a person dies he is eternal he is immortal or she is immortal who will die every now and then it is death john dun says it is you shall die so by arguing and supporting his arguments in uh, this way with these points john dun tries to prove that he tries to conclude that death is 
not at all powerful and dreadful as it is thought by many people i have said already uh, death is personified and addressed as as though it is a person in this uh, uh, sonnet there is also irony where uh, dun says death you shall die now he is challenging and he is he is stating that death will die so this is an irony so this is to remember in recap he challenges death he says death is not all powerful and scary fearful because the pictures of death which are uh, nothing but sleep and rest they they give they evoke uh, happiness and death is also not uh, <clears throat> an independent uh, entity no. though uh, the death takes away the best people sooner it is for their own rest and relief and he also says death is a slave to fate chance kings and desperate men having no independent identity death also lives in lowly ideas you know very mean ideas like poison war and sickness uh if we want the experience of death we can have it by using drug or magic spell when that is the case why do we need you dun asks dares death so once we come out of that short sleep called death we human beings are eternal amara immortal therefore life is eternal and wins over death this is john dunn's argument uh, against the idea of death i hope uh, this is understood my dear students uh, listen to it again read the poem again if you wish thank you